Hello everyone, my name is Udita Kuntia. I'm from class 3 Stuart School, Bhuvanishu. And today I'm going to tell you a very beautiful story. And what's its story name? That story name is The Foolish Barber. So once there was a merchant named Manibhadra. So he he's one day he sat uh, he sat thinking that if a person has no money and nothing in his house, then he has no respects. No people, every, even his relatives ignore him. And uh, if the person has so money and so much wealth with him, then the person is paid respect from everyone and all his family and friends like him. So... As he was thinking this, Manipatra fell asleep. So when Manipatra, when then Manipatra had a strange dream. What was the dream? Uh, in that dream, he was walking and he saw a sage. And uh, not a sage, it was a naked Jain monk. So the Jain monk, so the naked Jain monk came in front of Manipatra and said, Hi, Ha, hello merchant, I am Padmanidhi. So I am I am a Jain monk. So tomorrow I am the all I am all the treasure your ancestors have collected. I am all that treasure. I will come I will come tomorrow at your house and in this same form you are seeing me now. So I will come in that form and you will have to hit my head with a stout stick so then i will turn into a pile of gold and that gold will that will and that gold will be everlasting and it will never ever uh, never and you will never ever become so poor so that is my so that is my wish you shall hate me on the head and then i will turn into a pile of gold and you can keep that so Manibhadra said and suddenly woke up. Then he thought that a strange dream. Uh, dreams cannot come true. He said, he, uh, then at last he said to himself that maybe I was thinking of the monies. So that's why I have this dream. Said he said this and then uh, went to his work and did everything. So next day a barber came. A barber came uh, there to cut his hair. So the barber, after the barber, there came Padmanidhi. So now Manibhadra was a little surprised and afraid too. Surprised and afraid Manibhadra was. So he went, so he went inside the house and came out with a stout stick and hit it on the and hit it on the Jain monk's head. So then that monk turned into piles of gold. The barber saw this. Then Manibhadra said, don't tell the secret to anyone. If you feel tell, then you will have your head chopped. Then the barber kept that, the barber kept that a secret and told, and no, and told no one about that. But the barber didn't know about Manibhadra's dream. So he thought that if Manivadra had uh, hit the Jain monk with a stout stick on his head, that trap, uh, that uh, that turned into a pile of gold. So why should so I should too try about that? As he said this, and he did his work that day, and the next day he went to the monastery and there he said to the Jain monks that oh Jain monks please can you come to my house for for a li for a little for a little time for some time I am giving you I will give you money and you can have dinner with us with me the Jain monks said no no we don't we don't take dinner with anyone we or the we live the with the arms we get every day from the people so then the barber pleaded and pleaded and at last the jain monks agreed so the jain monks said that oh, we will be coming with some other i will be coming with some other jain monks so be ready today we will come at any time 
So the barber was ready. The Jain monks came to his house by evening. And when the Jain monks came in, the barber did everything. The barber finished every, every of his work. And then he gave them dinner and gave them money. So after when they were going home, they, the barber said, Oh, please wear Jain monks. Then he shut the door, closed the windows. Every the single hole he closed of his eye, every single hole of his house was closed. Now the house and now inside the house no one could hear anything. From the outside of the house no one could hear anything. So then, then the barber came with a stout stick and hit all the Jain monks on their head. The Jain monks cried and cried and cried and cried. Till at last, the watchman and the security and the safeguards all came running. What happened? Then the then the guards and then the guards rescued the poor monks who were bleeding because of the stout stick heated on their heads. So now the foolish bar was taken to the judges. The judges then then said, "Oh, why you are doing this?" Uh, why we are doing this kind of uh, bad thing and then the foolish power narrated whole thing to the judges to the judges uh, about Manibhadra's, uh, Manibhadra's uh, pile of gold how it turned into gold everything he narrated the full it was a foolish power he was a foolish power so then at last Manibhadra was uh, Manibhadra was some Messenger was sent to fetch Manibhadra to the judges and the judges said what happened and then Manibhadra narrated the whole story. So then the judges declared that from that day no one should hit the head of any Jain monks before before taking advice from us the judges said and so from that day no one ever hit the Jain monks. Thank you. Have a nice day.